test your audio. Moo! What was that one more time? Moo, like a cow. I think we're good. Okay, is the audience ready for me? Hi everyone, I'm Josie. I'm the sales and community manager for Contestants and we are a US-based distributor of niche fragrance brands. And I am so excited today to talk to you about one of my personal favorite fragrance houses, Liquide Imaginaire, a French fragrance brand that was started by Philippe de Mayo a decade ago this year. It might actually be a little bit more than a decade now. Very exciting. This house, Philippe de Mayo, really wanted to bring us back to the roots of fragrance, to the spiritual, to the religious, to the alchemical, to the imaginative, to, to worlds and, and beliefs and, and realities that go beyond just wanting to smell nice or smell great for someone else. These are fragrances that truly are meant to be sacred objects that are really meant to tell a story that are, are meant to transform us. And you know, it's the incredible thing about fragrance in general that you can wear something and feel like a completely different person and Liquide Imaginaire is really leaning into that concept. Liquide Imaginaire is one of the most special brands on the market. And so today we are going to explore some of these bestsellers and also preview the newest fragrance from the house, which is exclusive to Max Aroma. And it'll be my first time smelling it, so I am so excited. So we are going to start first with Dom Rosa. Very fitting since we are still celebrating the new year. 2023. Dom Rosa is part of Le Sanguine, the blood trilogy. And these fragrances are not meant to smell like blood, but it's a concept of transmutation, blood into wine, blood into uh, a different liquid. And the inspiration that wine has had on great creatives throughout history of authors and poets and musicians. Dom Rosa is meant to evoke the smell of sparkling red wine, rosé champagne. And when you spray this fragrance, you are instantly hit with fizz. Dom Rosa uses pear and grapefruit to give you that sparkling citric burst when you first spray the fragrance on. It is incredibly modern, so delicious. You, you spray this fragrance and you start salivating almost. It is so delicious. You, want, you truly want to drink it as much as you want to wear it. And there's this incredible rosiness to the fragrance that again really echoes to the fact that this is a red sparkling wine. You have some incense, which lends again to the earthiness of wine and really gives this fragrance dimension. It is so uplifting, it's so joyous. It really smells kind of like a party in a bottle. And there's this incredible romanticism to this fragrance as well. I mean, I know that we're past the holidays, but Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So this would be a fantastic fragrance for Valentine's Day. I love it. I could actually just keep smelling it and talking about it on camera, but I'm going to move on. And I'm going to move on to another fragrance that's a little bit floral. And this is going to be Fleur de Sable. So, sand flower. And this fragrance is part of that trilogy, Le de l'Est, dedicated to the East. And it is a tribute to Eglantine, which is a sort of wild rose. And the idea of a rose growing in the sand, growing in a place that it shouldn't. And the magic of that moment Eglantine actually does grow in the United States, in the South, the Southeast and the Southwest. So anyone who's watching this video who's in Florida or Georgia, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, you might be familiar with this, this floral. And it's not actually a rose, but it's called a wild rose. But the smell of this flower is very much like raspberry. So there is this incredible tartness to this fragrance. And there is this lovely sort of dustiness. This is it's again, very romantic, but it feels a little bit ancient. And I, I just love the idea of the image 
that's evoked by this fragrance of just being in the desert and then you're just walking, sand blowing in the wind and in your face and you see this one beautiful bloom just coming out, almost like a mirage of sorts. And speaking of mirages, the next fragrance I want to talk about, which is from the trilogy of this brand, dedicated to places in our imagination, is Desert Suave. So, uh, soft desert. And that fragrance is meant to evoke the concept of the mirage. Let me spray this. I, I love this fragrance for being a completely different take on a desert theme. A lot of fragrance houses have a desert fragrance. And a lot of times they are very dry, they're very smoky, they're leathery, they're oody, they're animalic. Liquide Imaginaire instead decided to go in a completely different direction and they went gourmand. So imagine that you are wandering the desert and you're thirsty and you're hungry and you're hot and all of a sudden on the horizon you see a pool of water, you see palm trees, you see beautiful flowers. You approach, you see plates of fruits and desserts. That is this fragrance. It is incredible. It is orange blossom, rose, there's a date accord. And you really have the feeling of lounging by this incredible body of water and you're being fed dates by some incredibly beautiful person while someone else is fanning you with a fan made of flowers, it's, it's unreal. These fragrances really make you think. And I think that's important to remember. They're beautiful, they're easy to wear, but they're so interesting. And so that brings me now back to Blanche Bet. Blanche Bet means white beast. And it's meant to evoke the unicorn. And it's the idea of a fantasy, of, of someone turning into a, a beautiful, wonderful, mystical creature. And, oh my gosh. So, you know, when you think of unicorns and you think of the stories that you, you watched and read as a child, and you, you imagine that unicorns live on clouds and they're fluffy and everything around them is sweet. When you smell Blanche Bette, you really get that incredible beauty, beautiful sweetness. Uh, vanilla and a touch of cocoa. You have jasmine here. Uh, tube rose is very white floral. Um, there's some ambrette here as well, which is giving it kind of a, a skin musk feel. Like you, this really smells kind of, it, it's evoking for me whipped cream and, and that concept of, of a fluffy cloud and just this joyful, very joyful concept of this beautiful unicorn prancing around a white field. I love it. I have to move on, because we have the new exclusive fragrance. We have Liquide Gold, and I have to show you all the packaging, because this is just absolutely beautiful. So this is the box for Liquide Gold. All of the Liquide Imaginaire bottles come in this really beautiful packaging, not the shiny gold, of course but I love how the fragrances slide out and they're housed in a really gorgeous pouch. Take this out, hopefully without dropping. Solid gold. Incredible. Liquid Gold is paying tribute to the preciousness of gold throughout history. Um, specifically in tarot, there is a tarot card, it's the star, and it is a woman who is pouring water from a silver vessel into a gold vessel. And in terms of the meaning of this card, the water is meant to represent life and, and the spirit moving from one world, the material world, that's the silver vessel, to the spiritual world, which is the gold vessel. This fragrance is meant to remind us how precious we are and how precious our souls are. I have not smelled it yet, so I'm very excited. I do love a solar fragrance. So let's see. I'm very excited. Okay. Oh, wow. So on first spray, this is spicy. Uh, that's saffron that I'm smelling. Okay. This is very ambery as well. 
and a little bit rooty. Okay, this is such an interesting take on a solar white floral. I was not expecting this. Okay, I need to put this on. I'm not wearing anything today, so this is good. Always better on the skin. It's so juicy. Okay, there's a lot of labs in them that I'm getting. Again, the, the saffron is really shining on my skin. Oh my gosh, that, I was not expecting, okay, I need to put more on. I was not expecting this. You know, when you think solar floral, you immediately think the sort of sunscreen fragrances, which I am a huge fan of. But this actually smells gold. I, I don't know how to explain this, but it, it actually smells like the color of this bottle. It's, it smells golden. This is really interesting and this is delicious. Not to say that it's a gourmand, but it's delicious in the sense of, I think that this would be incredibly alluring to smell on someone else. That kind of delicious, but wow. Okay. I'm sold. Oh, wow. Okay. This is incredible. This is limited edition, and this is exclusive to Max Aroma. So if you would like to grab a bottle of Lucky Gold, you know where to find it here at Max Aroma. Grab it quickly. Each bottle is also numbered, by the way, which makes it extra special. Oh my gosh, I, I, can't, I honestly, I can't wait for everyone who's watching this to get a sample or buy a bottle of this and try it. Because I really want to know if you're having the same reaction to this fragrance as I am. I want to go and spray this on everyone. This is delicious. Wow. Um, okay. Wow. I don't even know how to finish this video because this is so good. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to say goodbye everyone because I just want to keep, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, so anyone watching this who is familiar with me, knows me um, throughout the years that I've been in fragrance, knows that I have a tendency to call fragrances that kind of hit different marks, Goldilocks fragrances, you know, not too spicy, not too sweet, it's just right. Honestly, this is a Goldilocks fragrance for me. It is just the perfect level of sweet, just the perfect level of spice, perfect level of floral, um, perfect level of, of creaminess, um, perfect level of like wittiness. This, this is just, this is perfect. Oh my gosh. To celebrate 2023, Max Aroma is doing a giveaway of 23 five ml atomizers of Liquide Imagineers Liquid Gold. To enter this giveaway, what do you have to do? Hit the subscribe button for the Max Aroma YouTube channel and leave a comment below telling us which of the five fragrances I discussed today you want to try the most. Let us know. I so look forward to hearing about your special Liquide Imagineers moment and see you soon. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna shimmy um, and wait, and I, there's probably gonna be a blooper reel, so I'm just gonna...